Five. Many people search for deals online and buy and sell stuff on Facebook. Yeah, but Dunwoody police warned that several people who sell things on Facebook have lost big money to a scam. And Fox Five's Jacqueline Schultz has that story. Victims tell me they lost several hundred dollars or even several thousand dollars trying to sell their electronics or their furniture online. And police say all the victims dealt with someone with a very particular Facebook account. Just do a search and hundreds of thousands now use Facebook to sell or buy, dealing with neighbors or beyond on the marketplace or various groups. Dunwoody police say at least four residents trying to sell their furniture or electronics got duped by this user, someone named Alekia Sudala, who investigators believe may represent one or more scammers. Total of like $4,000 I lost. Venkata Surya Alamuri tells me via WhatsApp he's still trying to get thousands back from the bank. He was trying to sell his TV on Facebook. This person named Alekia Sudala, she just reached out to me over uh, Facebook Messenger. Alamuri says the person never met him but offered to transfer money into his bank account to pay 130 bucks for the TV. Alamuri says he gave her his bank account and she overpaid $1,300. He says he kept trying to refund the money and she kept saying it didn't go through. Police say after Alamori transferred back thousands, she disappeared. I'm really angry because that's my hard-earned money. And the suspect in turn will send more money than is requested. And once they do that, uh, the suspect will literally take off all their take all their money away. Police say there's no telling how many others in the metro could have dealt with this user. One victim selling furniture on Facebook gave her account number for payment, then found it overdrawn by. $888 million. Many local victims were Southeast Asian, but police are not sure if the scammers are targeting an ethnic group. Facebook tells Fox 5 sellers or buyers should never share financial information with strangers online. It's better to meet in person in a safe location. In Dunwoody, Jacqueline Schultz, Fox 5 News.